This is the first of the solar panels for Mistress. What I want to do is make the paper pattern. Well, this lining is going in very nice. I'm going to put two different profiles, one on the face and another one underneath. Well, here's another piece of the puzzle. I've been waiting for a while for these to arrive, actually. This is the first of the solar panels for Mistress. They're only small because what I will be doing is having panels on top of that hard dodger. And so obviously I'm limited with what size I can put there. I do envisage that I'll be getting bigger panels. I'm just really sort of torn between the idea of an arch on the back with the panels and wind generator and who knows what else. I really would prefer to keep all the transom clear for the wind vane. Anyway, that's another consideration for down the track. In the meantime, I've got these panels from Enerdrive and I've done that because they have great reviews and also I want to keep to the one brand. Enerdrive actually say that with their products, you've pretty much got somebody right here in Queensland that you can always go to for warranty purposes. So these are the monocrystalline panels. Obviously there's different choices. I guess as most people know, there's different types of solar panels. There's the monocrystalline, polycrystalline, there's actually some other types and no doubt more coming onto the market. They're the main two though. And then there's the rigid frame, the flexible, and then again, there's other variations. I've gone for these fixed frame monocrystalline 
The monocrystalline because I think in a boat or marine setting it offers the most in terms of output and also because these are going to be mounted on top of the hard dodger I do like the idea of having something solid that I can just fit in place and pretty much forget. Anyhow before I get to that stage because there's a lot of work to do before I can mount these on the dodger of course what I am going to do is get it all wired up and then connect it to the DC-DC charger so that it can now start providing some charge for that AGM start battery because I'm almost about to start fitting some light fittings inside a mistress and obviously I want some power to be able to run those things. Well, this lining is going in very nice. Ha <laughs> ha, how good does that look? Power in the boat, people. It's coming. <laughs> Another thing that I can get happening here in cabin two is this mattress. Whilst I'm getting on with the saloon panelling, what I want to do is make the paper pattern for this mattress as well as the navigation seat and seat back for there so that I can get the good guys down in Brisbane at Diamond Foams to make this mattress up and then send it to Heather to get the covers made up. Not really much to it, but it is the best way, I think, to be able to get an accurate cut the first time and get what you want. Okay, so the plan of attack with these cabinet doors is I'm going to put two different profiles, one on the face and another one underneath. And the reason for the one underneath, which will be a rebate profile, is because what I'm going to be doing for the voids is using some screen so that there's plenty of ventilation. What I've got is this aluminium, which is powder coated. It just has little yeah, they're pretty much circle holes punched right through it. It looks to be about 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8, 1.9, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 
maybe a little bit more than 1.5 millimeters thick so fairly strong especially in a small area like these so it's going to be strong it's going to allow lots of ventilation but on the whole I think that it will obscure whatever's behind and inside the cupboards so I'm going to use the router to put the profile and I'll also put a shallower bullnose profile on the inside of these as well just to dress it up a little bit it'll also make them look a little bit lighter gauge and I'll use the trimmer to put that rebate into the backs of them There is quite a lot of good boat work happening inside of Mistress lately and the next episode will see a lot of great progress. Distribution panel mostly done, more conduit and cable, a lot more lining, cabinet door epoxying and more. Can I ask you to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't and please check out my website and of course leave a comment because I like reading what you have to say. Mm -hmm.